Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over element sums. Now this question came over our Twitter account where this user was in the situation where they've got their background in their schedule but they want to know how many total background they have for that day. Well that's where element sums come in. You can add them to your strip or report designs to show you how many total elements you have in any category for a particular strip or even a whole day. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so before we get started with element sum, you want to make sure that you've added your elements correctly. And to get the totals right, you need to either have the number before the element. So here, if I need 12 high school kids, it has 12 uh, just by itself you know, in front of the element name. You can also add it to the end in parentheses. So you can say mixed bar crowd in parentheses 12. It depends on how you like it to look. But either way, those two things will work. If it's in parentheses in the front, though, it won't count. It just needs to be a raw number in the front and parentheses at the end. Uh, and then if there's no number around it, it's just going to count it as 1. So in this example, we've got a total of 25. 12 here, 12 here, and 1 here. And this will work in any category. It works in vehicles, stunts, anything. Like down here, we'd have a f total of 5 elements because there's 3 stunt cars and 2 single elements. So let's go ahead and add it to a strip layout first, and then I'll show you the report layout second. So I'm going to go up to Design, Strip Layouts, and I'm going to modify Horizontal B. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it by selecting it and hitting the Duplicate button. And call it Element Sum for this example. Click OK. So in this layout, I'm going to expand this a little. Uh, for this layout, I'm not going to need the vehicle ID, so I'm going to select these two fields by holding down Command and selecting both. Um, or in version 5, you can click and drag to highlight those two, and just delete. Then I'm going to add the element sum field to this layout. And over here on the left, I'm going to select it, and click and drag, and drop it right where I want it. And I'm just going to move the cursor over to one of the corners until it turns into uh, the corner modification and just drag it out just to make it a little bit larger. Now, with that, all I have to do is double click the field and it brings up the element sum properties. Now, in here, you would select the category that you want to summarize. So for this, this example, we're summarizing the background actors, but again, as you can see, you can select any of your element categories. And then you've got some options down here. You can just give a count, which just displays the number of elements found. Text, which just displays text that's entered over in this field over here. So what some people like to do is um, they don't like to see the total number of background because sometimes that can be misleading for their total count for the day. They just like to see that there are background for the day. So if they put in the word background here, that word will appear whenever there's background in that strip and it won't appear whenever there's not. Uh, so that's helpful for some people. Or you can also do text and count. So for this you can put background total colon space and then the number of background will appear after that text. And let me show this is the option we're going to use, so I'll show you how that looks. Now there's another option up here also, suppress zero totals. And what that'll do is if that's checked, if the total of background for that uh, particular strip is zero, it won't show, uh, this information won't show up. And if there if it's one or greater, it will show up. And let me show you how that works. So with all that set, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna save my layout and preview it. So as you can see up here, we have the background total of 25 for that uh, one I was strip I was showing you. And then down here, notice it's not appearing. Well, there's no background on those particular strips, so it just doesn't show. If I go a little bit farther, you can see over here there's 12 background for that day, so it does appear and shows you the total. And that'll be the same throughout all the strips. So, with that said, it's the same exact process to add it to a report layout. Let me show you that really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and close this and close the strip layout. I'm going to go up to design, report layouts, and if you're working with the default template, there's actually already uh, an extra by day report that uh, will show you the background total for that day. You need to have a by day report to summarize all of the background in a day. So uh, this is a by day report. I'm going to double click this to show it. 
And as you can see up in these uh, in the designer settings, this is a by day report, so it's summarizing everything for the day, not by sheet, which is just going to show you the total for the sheet. So just make sure that's uh, set properly in the report layout that you're working with. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it's got the background actor, so it's going to list what uh, background is needed for that scene. And then over here is the element sum field. If I double click that, it'll bring up the properties. And as you can see, the background actor is selected, and it's just showing you a count. And that's because we actually uh, wrote out in a text field um, the total background. And click OK and hit Preview. And so, as you can see, it's showing you all the background that's needed for that day, and then a total off here to the right. So hopefully that will help you get more information out of your reports and strips. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just have some feedback for us? You can send that feedback to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, which is how this video got created, or friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.